Is it time to go? <laughs> Where are we going? The beach. I got a feeling it's the moment my life's gonna start. I got the feeling when the windows roll down in the car. I got the feeling if I wanna fly, I know that I could. I got a feeling it's all feeling good. I got a feeling it's all feeling good. The sun will show the way. Stretch his legs and let Samson do the same. <coughs> Look, Noah, that's part of Sand Dollar. Look, what is that? Oh, it's not food, it's icky. You don't eat Sand Dollars? No. Well, today I'm not going to be doing any hunting or fishing. Instead, I wanted to take some time to show y'all a project that I've been working on for several months now, a little over a year. And that project is a homemade wooden boat. It's a 14-foot plywood skiff. I'll be using it to fish the bay systems here in Texas and maybe some of the lakes and rivers as well. Um, I'm really excited about it. It's been a really cool project to work on. Uh, I've 
learning experience. I've never built a boat before. This is definitely the first time I've ever done it. But I'll have some videos coming up real soon where I'll be fishing out of it. Maybe even doing a little duck hunting out of it. So I wanted to show y'all where I'm at now. And so that way you're up to speed when I launch this thing. So here she is. Uh, right now, the state that it's in is it's upside down. And that's because I recently fiberglassed the outside of the hull, as you can see here. And what I've been working on most recently is installing the skeg. And the reason for the skeg is that it helps prevent sliding in your turns. Um, I'm going to put an 8 horsepower motor on this. And everyone that I've talked to that's built this design before has said that I'm going to want a skeg with an 8 horsepower motor. They said that I'll definitely slide in my turns otherwise. And here's the plans I've been working off of. This particular model is called an SK-14. I bought it from a company called uh, Beto Boats. I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's B-A-T-E-A-U, Boats. Uh, they've got several different models of boats that you can buy plans for. But this one was perfect for me. It's, it's uh, 14 feet from bow to stern. It can draft 2 inches with 350 pounds, which is really why I wanted this model because this boat should allow me to go just about anywhere that my kayak can go except I'll have a motor on it so I can get there a lot quicker and it'll allow me to to stand up on a pulling platform and, and pull this skiff so that is going to be cool here's the the nesting diagram I drew each one of these pieces out over six sheets of plywood um, and cut them all out which was terrifying because this stuff is made out of really high dollar wood. I had to go to Austin to buy it. You couldn't even buy it here in Corpus Christi. And, and six sheets cost me about 500 bucks. So you can imagine when I went to start cutting these pieces out, I was pretty nervous. Let me show you this. This is pretty cool. This type of construction is called stitch and glue construction. Because what you ultimately do is you have your panels here and you stitch them together with zip ties. And once it's all stitched together, you take this marine epoxy and you just glue in between the zip ties. And once that has set, you cut the zip ties out and then fill everything in with the, with the epoxy. So it's a really neat type of construction, great for beginners. And I have just thoroughly enjoyed it. So what I want to do now is run you through a slideshow of all of my boat build pictures so I get you up to speed uh, from where I started to where I am now and you can see all the steps in between. It was a really neat process. And then what I want to do when this thing is finished is do a christening ceremony. Break some kind of a bottle of something over this thing. Probably Shiner Box seeing how I went through a lot of Shinerbach building this boat. And then we'll see if it floats and, and see if we can get it out there running. You got your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's rain. You're like a piece of heaven in a hurricane. And it's bubbling over like a sweet champagne. You got your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's ring All day long, right or wrong You question everything Why the grass is green Can I stay up late And why do bluebirds sing Sometimes you cry your big blue eyes For no discernible reason Your point of view It comes and goes Like the changing of the seasons You got your mama's sunshine You got your daddy's ring you're like a piece of heaven in a hurricane and it's bubbling over like a sweet champagne You got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain You act just like your father, yeah you laugh at your own jokes You're pleased with your opinions, girl you want the world to know don't need Dolly or Chagall You're like a miniature Picasso With your markers on the wall You got your 
mama's sunshine You got your daddy's rain You're like a piece of heaven In a hurricane And it's bubbling over Like sweet champagne You got your mama's sunshine You got your daddy's rain Got a leaf on every single branch of our family tree. When you're all grown up, no longer a buck, and going out to the great unknown, you'll find that little piece of you that you can call your own. You got your mama's sunshine, you got your daddy's rain, you're like a piece of heaven in a hurricane. And it's bubbling over. Your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's ring. You got your mama's sunshine. You got your daddy's ring.